Okay, I do have XP. I have gained XP. Have I gained a fish? Oh, I got a big perch! Oh my god, I have a giant perch in my pocket. Big perch, 41 centimeters. Uh, what's that in real units? Hold on, let me grab my phone. What's that in, like, real units? Come on, phone. 41 CM 2 IN. Six, 16 inches! Damn! Is that a big perch in your pocket, or are you happy to see me? Yeah! We're gonna flay that bitch at home and eat like kings. Wowee! Dealing Twitch, thanks for the nine months. Much appreciated. That's a sub baby right there. Some love and chat for dealing Twitch. Thanks, my guy. Thank you very much. Thanks, dude. See, we even have an emote for you shy losers in chat. Volkshy. Yeah, Volkshy in chat for shy losers. Shy losers, rise up. Okay, all right. Fishing abundance, 95%, so the number has gone down. My bait has gone down, but not by a lot. My dude's big mad because he's in pain. And I don't know how, frequent we're, how frequently we're going to catch a fish is, but... All right. We might do this every now and again to, to build up a food supply. Let's go. But thank you again, Dealing Twitch. Appreciate you, my dude. How you doing? Oh, I also noticed it's 55.5. I don't know if it's, you know, because it's a rainy, windy day, but, like, the temperature is kind of coming down. And it's 921, so I'm wondering. Maybe we're getting into the colder, colder seasons here soon. October's coming. Okay, I need to smoke. I, I, I can just stand still and, like, <laughs> that kind of looks weird. Okay, why can't... Okay, uh, okay, what the fuck? I can't move. Uh... What? I can't move! If a zombie would have walked up on me, I would have died! I can't do anything! Zomboid? What the fuck? I literally can't even... I, I can't even, like, pull my axe out. Alright, I'm gonna save and quit, because this happens with exercising. Um... Uh, no, don't apply the changes. Quit. Oh my god. Could you imagine if a si uh, Dude, I could have lost the entire run to a bug. Just be sitting here farming. And a zombie walks up on me and I'm like, Okay, I'll pull my axe out and I'll kill him. Oh my god. Oh my- It was just a bug. Oh my- Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I hate fishing. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's fish and then see if I can move. Okay, I can move. Let's fish. Okay. See if I can move. Okay, I can move. Not a bug, it's a feature. Holy shit, I could have just lost the entire run to a bug. Oh my god. I tried to move, nothing happened. I tried to pull my axe out, nothing happened. I caught a big catfish! Oh my god, Lynn's gonna be so happy! Lynn, uh, Lynn likes catfish for some reason. Dude, let's go. Uh, anyway, yeah, like, the entire run could have died. I, I, I couldn't WASD, I couldn't pull my axe out. I was just stuck. Okay, that is terrifying. I officially dislike fishing right now. Maybe that was just a bug because I was too close to the water. I'm gonna stand back in the future. Thankfully, I can still look around. I tried to reach out to some to someone and nothing happened. What game was that? When you interact with something and it says nothing interesting happened? Is that RuneScape too? As well? It's like, nothing interesting happened. I think it's a RuneScape. 
I was still fishing when I smoked. Is that the bug? Smoking and fishing at the same time might have caused that bug. Okay. Well, we'll have to remember that for the future. That... That honestly scared the hell out of me. <laughs> we have caught two decently sized fish. Three! A 62 inch or centimeter pike. And it's considered small. Let's go! Alright, fishing is officially good. Fishing is officially how... <laughs> officially. This is how we're gonna get our protein. I just caught another perch! Dude, I love fishing! Anyway, um, I think we might be done with box traps for the moment. They seem to produce a whole lot of nothing, require a ton of maintenance, and if I just go fish for an hour, I have this. I, I think we're good. Keep going? I, I don't know, man. I kind of want to just go home and drop it off in the freezer. Seems good to me. And go do something else with my day. Wow. All right. Fishing was slept on. Jesus. And then I die of mercury poisoning. <laughs> just don't let the abundance get low. And zero, it stays at zero. Is it basing the abundance on this entire body of water? Or is it basing the abundance on, like... The tile that I clicked on. Is that how that works? Yeah, but fishing is boring. It's true. But fishing so far has been like the most successful method of acquiring food. It does consume the worms as bait, so we're always going to have to have worms, which just means we'll spend some time digging. But so far, I, I, I can't beat this in terms of food production. This has, been, this has been quite nice. Fishing and foraging are OP. I always hear somebody come in and say foraging is good, but then two seconds later, I have about 80 people say, foraging is awful, what are you talking about? So I'm always conflicted on this. <laughs> Do I just have to get foraging really high to be able to find anything worth a damn? Is that what it is? Because that's what I suspect. Yeah, it just has to be high? Okay. Doesn't sound like a fun skill to level, though. Walking around being blindfolded in a field somewhere is essentially how you level it. I'm gonna catch one more than go home, if possible. I'm just waiting for one more fish. Think we're gonna get one more fish, chat? I don't think we're gonna get any today. Boy, was I wrong. Eat a worm? I'm gonna eat you. Jerk. I wanna get this rabbit hole and it's fresh. Oh, one more fish. One more fish. I got socks! Yes! The run's complete. Where'd it go? It said I caught socks. Wait. Large backpack. Where the hell are the socks? Alright, I've been lied to. Oh, they're in my main inventory. Weird. I'll put them on the floor. Um, I'm gonna eat the rest of this. We're gonna get the rest of our meal. We're gonna go home and make some new food anyway. So 77% abundance in that pond still. I'm very curious just to see what it looks like tomorrow when we uh, when we come back, or if I come back, to see how long it takes for fishing abundance to go up. So, so far it seems to be really quick and easy food, but I'm wondering how long it is sustainably. I got socks just like grandma used to send me. A tree moved. I thought it might have been a zombie, but it might have just been the wind. Alright. Truck Chan's waiting for me. Old Reliable. No zombies. So part of me wants to take a moment to cut down some bastard trees so that Truck Chan can take me fishing in the future. So let's do that. Let's murder some bastard trees. And then we'll drive on down here next time we want to go fishing. And we will be regular country bumpkins in our truck with our fishing rod and our four-wheel drive. Okay, come to clap, brothers. Bastard trees? Well, what else do you want to call this tree? It's literally Satan. These things are horrible. Bastard trees. What's the matter? You got a problem with that? Are you a bastard tree sympathizer? Do I have to, uh, do I have to fight you? I will 1v1 you on land. 
Tell me your favorite video game and I will dominate you in it, sir. There's trees that are born out of wedlock. Yep. Just like me. Oh, wait, no. No, no, I was conceived out of wedlock and my grandmother was very mad about it. But then, I, then my mom and dad got married. Then she, then she suddenly cared. Dude, my one grandma, she was crazy traditionalist like in that regard. Like, like I didn't exist to her unless my parents got married. Weird. Weird, bro. Weird. I don't understand that one. That's a little weird for me, dog. <laughs> okay, let's put the water bottles back. Her dude was thirsty. An empty bo oh, oh, my backpack is too... F oh, my backpack is too full of fish. Got it. Okay. Wish you could put down pavement or can you? So apparently you can take gravel bags, which are limited, I think, and not really super common. I mean, you can find them, but you need a lot to do what you're asking. And then you can put gravel on the ground. I'm pretty sure a gravel bag gives you like three or four squares worth of gravel. Which, when you think about it, that's not a lot. That doesn't go far. So that's why I chose just to make that wooden road. And it's worked pretty good for me. So, no complaints yet. Um, okay, we're home. I'm gonna leave the fishing rod in the truck, I think. We'll leave the fishing rod in there, and we're just gonna throw the worms in there, because that's how it works. <gasps> the rain stopped! Oh no! My infinite water! I can see clearly now, the rain is gone. Back door still intact, so we're good. Everybody wave hi to Axe Chan. Say hello. Axe Chan doing his thing, his thing thing. Slice fillet times four. Volks H plus knife equals. Wait for it. <laughs> it takes so long to get them out, they're so big. It makes more of a stabbing sound than like a skinning sound that like the rabbit does. Did you bring me Tendi's quest? Who did Phil hot 69 by the way? Phil, who did you hot 69 and, and did you get them? Sorry, I missed that. I don't know if a mod did it. I just noticed, my bad. <laughs> Yeah, uh, quest. Uh, I take some tendies. Okay, now for the best one. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Dead rabbit. I have eight fish fillets and one rabbit ready to go. Am I about to just combine? Like, is this is this about to be some surfing turf? Some land, sea, and, uh... Well, it can't be air unless we find, uh, like, a bird. We're about to have some land, sea, and air dinner. Roasting pan, create roast with a fish fillet. Dude, oh, you know, I could go for a fish fillet for McDonald's, and I don't even eat those normally. Uh, I'm just hungry right now. I could go for anything. Uh, we're gonna add some rabbit to my fish fillet. Yep, yep, yep. And we're gonna throw ourselves in there some, uh, some carrots. Okay, if eating this meal does not make me gain weight, I, I, I'm gonna be mad. Like, I've been, I've been going underweight for the last month, eating rabbit stew, somehow. Somehow, someway, I have not gained a pound. Surely by eating fish and rabbit, we'll, we'll put some meat on our bones, right? Right? I can't add anything else to this. It's it's full. My fridge is also full. So, what we need to do is we need to move these fish fillets in the fri freezer. Because I'm not going to use them all. I don't want to waste them. And then... Maybe pull out some of these frozen radishes because I don't have any in there. Oh, Jesus! Not the whole list. A couple, couple frozen radishes. Did it go in the fridge? Can't tell. 
I don't think it did. Oh, it did, because I had 39, I think. Did I? Am I crazy? I'm crazy. Thought I had less, or more than that. Okay. Now they're in there. 100%. Fish filet. Put them in the fridge. Rabbit is lean meat slash shrug. Yeah, but you know, it's still a stew with some veggies and oh, I just feel like I should be gaining some weight. If you eat enough of anything, you'll get fat. Okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta get stuff in here that doesn't need to be refrigerated because we're actually running out of space. Pancake mix doesn't need to be refrigerated, obviously. Uh, the soda doesn't need to be refrigerated. That's just been in there because the fridge was our initial storage. So we're gonna move the soda out of there, which will free up a ton of space. Nice, and there is a soda container right there. So we will put pop, as you weird Midwesterners call it, in this container. Uh, cocoa powder goes over here. Pancake mix and stuff over there. All right, who in chat calls soda pop? All right, ra show your, raise your hands. Any weirdos in chat here? Do you call soda pop? Come on, out yourselves. I'm curious. Wh who's the weirdo in chat? Hey, I got my stove. I did, Whiskey Hunter, and you missed it. It was, like, the most surprising thing ever. I was able to waltz right in there and yoink it. I, th there, there was some killing, but, like, when we came back there the second time, I honked my horn a lot the day before in other areas. Everything just seemed to leave it. I don't know. It, we got lucky. It was, it was, it was kind of nice. Janie calls it pop. Anybody else call it pop? Where you're at, but you're, you're from North Carolina. Call it soda and pop. You call it soda. Okay, and any any uh, big brains in chat? Any any smart people? We call it soda, right? Who calls it soda here? Just wait for it. There's another there's another option, and I'm waiting to out you. Who calls it soda here? I call it soda. If it's if it's soda, it's soda. You call it soda. Soda. All right, all right. I, I think most people will call it soda. Now, for the real test, who are the psychopaths in chat? Who calls it? Every soda, Coke. Who's the real psychopath? Who calls every soda, Coke? Anybody? <laughs> because there are people that do that, and it baffles me. <laughs> you want a Coke and do? <laughs> you want a Coke and do? <laughs> A Coke beer float. <laughs> there are people that do that. Well, your wife? Wait, Arrow, really? Your wife calls all soda Coke? Are you serious? Oh my god. Please tell me that's not true. No! There's somebody here that actually does this. Okay, this... Oh my god. That is the most hunger I've ever gotten out of anything I've cooked ever. A hundred and two. Okay. Please, if I eat this, I'm gonna gain weight, right? Right? I'm full to bursting. Please? Is fish finally the answer to my starvation? Please? Maybe? Those people. Cola, but sometimes it's only only for soda that is cola. I don't know, I just call it soda. It's just, soda's a very bright, soda's like anything that's fizzy. You know, I guess. Eats all of it, blows up, no way. Uh, I, I might need to keep eating to see if this number changes, but we'll see. When the potatoes come in, I think regardless of whatever protein we're putting in there, we're going to be putting on pounds. The potatoes are growing. Let's actually check them, because I don't want to lose these. Let's confirm that none of them are diseased. Chad, if you see a disease and I just go over it, answer me. Phil never answered me either, at least I don't think he did. Uh, did, did the mods Hot 69 whoever Phil wanted Hot 69? Because I didn't see that. So far, all the potatoes are looking pretty healthy. This is good, because we're really banking on potatoes for weight gain. We have tomatoes right beside them. Everything is well watered. Nothing so far has been diseased. So that's good. These are all tomatoes on this far end with all these trellises. I know that word, because Kekona clap, brother. Are these, uh, these are ready for harvest. Any of these ready for harvest with disease? 
How many carrot seeds do I have? Because I might just yoink them, honestly. I have enough. Uh, I do have two carrot seed packs. I do have 128 carrot seeds. Yeah. I'm just going to harvest these carrots. It's time for some farming XP. Let's freaking go. A farmer can only wait so long before he has to harvest his crop chat. He's got to do his family proud. Folkspot timed out Malin. Uh-oh. Malin, did you accidentally post a link? Yes, you did. And by that, you probably put a period in your sentence and forgot to space it. And then the bot said, no purse. 67 fresh carrots. Mother of God. See, Malin, if you sub and then you make that mistake, it'll be okay. Smile. <laughs> but yeah, right now, it's it's been set up that if Anybody sends a link, it, and you're not subbed, it deletes it, because too many things on Twitch degrade into... Oh my god, I don't have storage for this. Um, like spam accounts and stuff. Uh, we need another fridge. <laughs> I think gravy is infinite. Maple syrup is infinite. Pasta should probably be okay. Red wine doesn't need to be in the fridge. Tortilla chips don't need to be in the fridge. White wine doesn't need to be in the fridge. We have no more space for our carrots. We officially have too many crops. It's time just to eat nonstop carrots. Until I turn orange. Alright, well, the carrots are in there, so things are, things are okay. But that will be a problem. Pasta, you all go in here. Tortilla chips, you go in here. We'll put the wine closer to... Like the beverages, I don't know, just makes more sense to me than dry goods. Um, we thought you were still. Uh, if you prime sub, they don't renew, but I don't, I don't know if you prime subbed or not. I got no idea. So this roast is definitely disgustingly good. We're gonna, we're gonna try to do the whole fish thing if I can actually manage to gain weight from this. So far, the num that thing hasn't changed. It's still a downward arrow. Uh, okay, we ate it. Still a downward arrow. Chad, am I just never going to be able to gain weight eating fish and rabbits? Like, is, is it just impossible? Because it feels impossible. Does orange soda have calories? It does. Nice. I might just start drinking some orange soda then. Maybe I can just get fat with soda. Hell yeah! Remember that soda conversation we had a minute ago? Look at all this orange coke. I'm gonna drink it all. Down the hatch. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> it's all coke. I'm pretty sure that's like an extremely southern thing. Like, like you gotta be real far south to be calling all soda coke. Pretty sure. Midwesterners, you guys, you guys say pop. I think the rest of the world says soda. I'm not sure where coke originated. Like that, calling everything coke. North Carolina calls all soda coke. Really, North Carolina? See, North Carolina doesn't sound deep south to me. Uh, water bottle, let's put that in here. Just combined with you, awesome. Okay, so I just guzzled an entire bottle of orange soda and I'm still not gaining any weight. <laughs> I don't know what to fucking tell you, dude. I wish it was this hard to get fat in real life, because if it was, then maybe I'd have a girlish figure. <laughs> Boy, do I wish. Alright, so one of the next things we need to do is we need to go books. Like, books need to happen, because if books happen, then the carpentry that I'll do will result in way more XP. So, are we going to attempt ch to check that bookstore a second time just to ensure there's no advanced books there? Is that the plan? What do you think, Jet? Your family in Georgia did as well? Damn, son. I've never known anybody that said that. I just know of it. Like, I got a lot of old people in the family, or I guess, like, they, they, they say things like old people would, even if they're not necessarily old. Like, crick and creek, you know, poop and poop and wash and wash and radiator versus radiator. But I've never known anybody to, to do that. Yeah, we're exhausted. Cutting down bastard trees is hard work. You want to time out an actual human. Did anybody get them? Yes or no? Because if they already got them, 
then, then, then the deed's been done. I don't know. Mods, did anybody uh, take care of Phil's request yet? Not yet? All right. I'm not seeing my mods do work. All right. Drondia, SMH my head. What did I hire you for? All right, actual human person. You're getting it from me. Enjoy your 69 seconds in purgatory. There you go, Phil. I got you, pal. SMH my head. Drondia got hired, doesn't even do her job. Fire her. Do my folks call a fridge an icebox? No. Never heard that one, no. Just remember, chat. Channel points exist for a reason. Mostly so you can time each other out for 69 seconds. We're gonna have to put a road in here. It's just gonna have to be what it is. This overgrowth is insane. Like, it's every tile there's a tree. And me chopping it. Eh. It's hard on me, and it's hard on the axe. In fact, this axe is already halfway broken. Okay, we're not full to bursting, so... I'm gonna go inside and grub out on some potato chips like the lardass that I am in an effort to not lose any more weight. Or maybe I could just go gobble some carrots up. Well, I don't need a nutrition chart. Just tell me, is it possible to gain weight at all with like veggies or no? Like if I just ate a stack of carrots, would I not gain any anything? Amber lamps. <laughs> Calling an ambulance at Amber Lamps is, uh, that's, that's, I, that don't, I think that's less a regional thing and more of a specific thing, and I won't go further. <laughs> I think eating veggies is only a slow death. Can, can we tell that to the vegetarians and vegans in real life? Yes! Stop eating my cow's food! <laughs> but the thing is, I'm not only eating veggies, I am eating... Right now, I've been eating rabbit stew and, like, fish fillets mixed with veggies, and I'm just wondering why. Nothing that I'm eating has resulted in gain, gaining weight. Like, I have not been able to... I've gone from, I think, like, 79 pounds or 79 Kentucky units to 75 very slowly over time, regardless of what I've eaten. I just haven't been able to gain anything. Sure, if I down a, a jar of gravy, I might gain some weight, but... I can't do that reliably is the thing. Uh, yeah, I don't really get anything. Uh, I guess I do. I'll need some chips. Where are the tortilla chips? Eat a bag. Eat a bag of tortilla chips. Eat your legumes, chat. <laughs> Alright, there. We're well fed. We'll eat half of this bag of chips here. That should put me full, I think. Let me go to sleep. No, still well fed. All right, you know what, fatty? Just eat the rest of the potato chip. I need you to gain weight, dude. You're gaining nothing. It's still the downward arrow. I'm not gonna gain on carrots. Well, then why am I not gaining on like the meals I'm making? I'm so confused. Also, those bottles of oil. Can I not use those as a cooking item? Is that not a thing? Or is that vinegar? Oh, it's white wine. I thought I had oil for some reason. It kind of looked like olive oil. It's white wine. Can you not cook with white wine in the game? Like, why couldn't, why wasn't it an option, I guess, to uh, mix it with my roast? I don't know. Just wondering. Just trying to figure out this cooking thing so I can stop being skinny and start putting on some pounds. Potatoes don't have many calories in game either. Come on! What the fuck? How the hell am I ever gonna gain weight if even potatoes don't give me weight? Dude, this makes no sense. Is it literally impossible to live off of crops? How unrealistic is this game? <laughs> I was fine with zombies in the game, you know? Alright, I can, I can get over that one. But I cannot get over the fact that potatoes don't make you fat. That's a lie. That's all. That's all a lie. All right, we glitched it by doing this weird axe thing. This happens. Um, drop. No, we have to. Okay, hit escape. Okay, there we go. Clip in both hands. Okay, so yeah, uh, I gotta do exercising in a specific order, or it breaks the UI. There we go. Stop exercise. I think even if I didn't exercise, we'd have this problem. Not mad at this point, just apathetic? What the hell? 
Malnutrition's the real threat? You need fat heavy meals? You eat a bunch of potatoes and tell me you don't gain any weight, mister. <laughs> I'm eating rabbits, I'm eating fish, I'm eating carrots, cabbage, radishes, and soon potatoes. And I can't gain weight! What does a man gotta do to survive out here? <laughs> what is this life? And how do I get out of it besides bleach? I'm about to go jug, uh, chug that bottle of bleach chat. There's only one way to gain weight. Drink bleach. Bread dough and make bread. Well, how do you make bread dough? Excessive exertion. Oh, damn. I don't think I've ever had my exertion that high. I've only ever had the one that says can barely jog. Oof. My dude's tired right now. It'd be a real shame if we got attacked. I'm gonna sit on the ground and read chat about this whole food ordeal. <clears throat> From the sounds of it, you have nothing but fat, light meals. A potato is not fat, light! It's all carbs! <laughs> the developer needs to change potatoes. That's not how a potato works. I understand a carrot a cabbage and a radish, but not a potato. The developers never watched The Martian, all right? Confirmed? My mistake was not to fry them. My ma What madman doesn't fry their potatoes? <laughs> Modders get on it. <laughs> How the fuck does a potato make me lose weight? Ugh, literally unplayable, unreal, unrealistic game. <laughs> unrealistic game, uninstall. To make bread, I need a magazine. Huh? Well, I probably don't have that. I guess I could check, though. If I check my crafting menu, does it show me here? Cooking, does bread show up if I search? Oh, that was weird. I pressed the button, it disappeared. Bread, there's bread dough. So I guess I could do this. Well, okay, this is not a renewable resource. So, like, how are you supposed to sustain, sustain yourself? It requires yeast. I can't produce yeast, or produce yeast. Well, I, okay, not that kind. Um, I'm assuming I can produce flour in some capacity. I definitely can't produce, I can produce salt. Hey, chat. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh God, that'd be so easy. <laughs> I won't say it, I won't say it, I won't say it. So there's bread dough. But that's, yeast is, I'm assuming, a non-renewable. Flour, I'm assuming, is probably not a non-renewable. Or probably is a non-renewable. Salt's a non-renewable. Is there anything that I can eat, trap, or kill myself that I can not just starve to death? Because looting an entire town and stealing all their food will sustain you for a while, yes. But it wouldn't keep your weight up with the way the game works. What the hell am I, what's a man supposed to do? Just starve to death? All right, let's sleep. Nutrition needs a work, uh, needs a work around or a rework from what little I've experienced of it so far. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense that all this love, all these lovely meals I'm eating aren't enough to keep me alive. Okay, water bottle goes in the old inventory there. I'll get rid of being thirsty. Yes. Oh, look, Drondi is alive. <laughs> Salt, flour, yeast, water, rolling pin. Yeah, but none of those are renewable, right? This game is about how you die. This is how you survive. <laughs> That's so stupid. And no one's answered me yet about if it's possible to sustain yourself. Because that's what I'm attempting to do. This is unrealistic! I can eat that whole field! Right there! I can eat all of it! And I'll still starve to death. <laughs> I can eat all of this! And I'll die. <laughs> Uninstall. Literally unplayable. <laughs> what the shit? Uh, that's a lot of trees right there. If this game is so detailed, then there should be a recipe for making yeast. Somehow I don't think there is, but let's press B and look at the menu. Does it say anything about that? If I look at yeast, or search yeast... No, maybe I need a book for it. Like, there's birds, there's rabbits, there's small animals. 
There's no fucking way you'd starve in real life if you ate carrots and cabbages and radishes and, and birds and fish. That sounds like a ridiculously good meal. Hey, Volks, has anyone told you you should step on the crops? Uh, I'm fairly certain you stepping on the crops doesn't do anything. Pretty sure zombies are the only one that damage it. But you go ahead and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. I've never had anything happen to the crops yet. So, let us attempt to look at the, the bookstore down this way. We're going to have to spend probably the majority of the day moving the zombies. But let's see if we can get in the bookstore and maybe find something we don't already have. With any luck, that'll be the play. You notice ever since I removed the end keybind, I haven't had any problems with the car randomly turning off when I check my map. It's great. Recommend you remove that keybind. It does nothing but kill you. Kind of like Q, but Q's useful. Just be careful. <laughs> Did I fence the bathing pond in yet? Yeah, no, but I... Drondia, I have fished. I have gotten fish. I have been eating fish, rabbit, carrot, cabbage, and, uh... Cab... Er, uh... What's it? R radish. Stew. And I don't gain weight. I lose weight and die. <laughs> I should press Q? Okay. I should get them up north away from where I'm going. Ideally. Anything else stupid there, actual human person? Bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave. Sorry, lady. Ray binds Q to end. <laughs> that would be worse, honestly. I'd get to check my map, press Q. <laughs> Or press N. Is there like a different animal that maybe I can eventually catch that will put on some weight if I eat them? Like when my trapping goes higher, maybe I make that bigger box trap or box cage or whatever it's called. Is there something bigger that I can get that would sustain me and make me gain weight? You can survive, you just need to eat a ton of veggies to 2k calorie per day. One carrot only has 25. Okay, but how many calories does something like a fish and a, uh, the rabbit have? Because, I mean, I put fish, I put rabbit, I put carrots, I put cabbage, I salt it. I don't know. Maybe I need to like, find like oil, like vegetable oils or something. Olive oil, something. There's got to be something like that that might last a while. But even then, that doesn't make it forever. It just makes it like a like a temporary solution to the problem. So right around here should be the bookstore. And as you can clearly see, getting out right around here is death. So the plan is to start blaring the horn. For weight, it says fishing, but if you run constantly, you need more calories. Fish are around two to 300. Well, then how am I losing weight when I'm putting two fish and two rabbits in there? That's 600 calories plus a rabbit, and that's just one meal. God damn! And every time I eat, I'm full of bursting, so clearly I'm eating enough. Shit, dude. I'm struggling to see an answer to this. We need, a, we need something different to eat. Eat more? I've been eating non-stop! Somehow my character's also hungry, by the way. <laughs> I th I'm convinced my character has a black hole in his gut, and that's the uh, that's the problem we have. <laughs> my character just has a black hole in his gut. Zombies! Come get your dinner! Maybe you guys can gain some weight. I, I can't seem to gain any. <gasps> it actually just it stopped going down right there, but we did just grub out on orange soda and uh, every junk food that I had, so it makes sense. Okay, so with all this horn honking, the back road, let's use it. Uh, those guys never woke up, which was kind of bad. Let's honk over there, send them that way. More back road, so the building should be up here soon on my left. 
There's the police station. It's this thing right here. There are still inf infinitely too many zombies. Getting into the bookstore is going to be a challenge. Let's let's start walking zombies like a dog. Okay, we need a Siggy. Never thought my problem would be food. I thought I actually had so much food that it was too much. I can't even hold it all in my fridge. But my guy's still losing the weight, so it's an issue. The problem is, streamer man, that you got a dupe with a bottomless stomach, you know? Probably. There's a grocery store. Kinda wanna go in there right now, considering what's going on with food. Thought I'd be self-sustainable on my farm. Boy, was I wrong. Boy, was I wrong. Okay, I don't know how many are behind this group, if any. So let's do this. Yeah, they kinda stopped following me, so let's just kinda grab their attention again. Just walk them, walk them away from the bookstore. Oh my god, they are demolishing the grocery store right now. Well, at least in the future, it'll be really easy for me to go in there, I guess. Okay, zombies? Go this way. Me, I'm gonna go around and try to come from that bookstore from behind, like I do with the gas station, and it usually kind of works. Wow, this place is really chill right now. That's kind of strange. They're all over at the, the bookstore because they know I want to go there. I didn't crash into a wall. What are you talking about? No walls here. Only zombies. And saplings. Let's not forget about saplings. Give the saplings their credit. Beep. Beep. <laughs> you got some Wendy's. Ooh. Wendy sounds pretty good right about it. Wendy sounds really good in this post apocalyptic world. Maybe I can finally gain some weight. <laughs> Yeah, the, we have a we have no arrow, which just means we're sustaining, we're not gaining, but we're also not losing. Oh hello, you're not who I want. Why are there so many here? Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, um, this isn't working. Get away from the bookstore, you heathens! This way for dinner! This way for dinner! Don't eat me, though, because you won't gain any weight. <laughs> I, too, am a black hole. Six months later, run as a no. Well, I mean, you can just deal with the vegetation. I mean, I've, I've dealt with the vegetation in my place, so it's, it's not a it's not a deal breaker. It's just it's just annoying when you run into those trees. Okay, so there really okay there shouldn't be zombies on this main highway right here to my right because I was honking the horn. There's no way they didn't hear it, so they should have moved, right? This should be relatively chill. Let's find out. So far, it is. Okay, they're, they're still wandering toward the horn. That guy looks like he has a Santa hat on, not gonna lie. They're, st they're all still wandering towards the horn sound. Now they only hear your truck if you're really gunning it and you're close by. Like, that dude's just ignoring me. I'm kind of just coasting here. It, look, look, this is the chillest I've ever seen this road. But, the issue. The bookstore is up here, not down there. So we're probably going to have to walk them down the road. 
The bookstore should be right up here to the right. Oh my god. Where are they? I'm scared. Oh, there they are. Hello. So here's a bookstore. Hmm. How worth it is it to try to get out and kill them? They're still coming from down south. Yeah, they're still coming from down south. Getting out and killing them would be a lot of killing. I don't know about this one yet. Maybe we can walk them. Let's walk them, chat. Be a good zombie owner. Walk your zombies. Take your zombies for walks. Right? Very regularly. They're like, this lady, I don't want this lady doing what she's doing. Yes, focus on me. Yes, you guys. We're going to go around this building and we're going to drop you off. We're going to drop you off at zombie daycare. Zombie daycare. Go out and kill them, but then I'll lose weight again. <laughs> Come on. We're going to take them down this road, then we're going to haul ass. And we'll deal with whatever's left. Keep coming. Who's a good zombie? Who's a good zombie? Who's a good zombie? Here's zombie, 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 zombie. I'd like to just turn the siren on on this thing and then leave and see if that was enough to do it. Would they break the van down, like, completely if you do that? If you turn the siren on a vehicle, will they, like, attack the vehicle even if you're not in it? Kind of wonder about that. Okay, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. All right. Going all the way up here. Hopefully they just kind of lost line of sight of me and forget that I exist, like the average Twitch viewer. And the back door is open, which is probably the scariest part of this whole thing. Which means the zombie could walk right in. Okay, he needs to be dealt with now. You sound like a piggy. Uh, hey, hey, Miss Piggy. Uh, Miss Piggy. Uh, her, Miss Piggy. It's uh, Kermit the Frog here. Uh, Miss Piggy. Okay, they can come out from this at any moment. So we need to. Check our corners. All right, all right. Chat, look for things that are good. I just saw advanced. Advanced carpentry, advanced electricity. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here's the plan. Here's the plan. Yoink. Here's the plan. Yoink. We'll put it in the truck. We'll deal with it later. We're just going to grab and go. Smash and grab. Smash and grab. Smash and grab. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's time for some tree jumping! Yeet! Get out of here. This is my library. Ah, shit. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with her. My library. Bookstore thing. Okay. Truck inventory. Books. Go. Books out. Let's get them out. It takes a long time to put them in the truck. They are not exactly fast. Okay. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I love when I get that one kill, one hit kill. Fuck out of here. I'm really scared about that door. That, that they could just walk right through there when I'm looting and I. Like, I keep my eyes on these windows, but there's an unknown amount of zombies behind me in that building. Or, in that street. That part's scary to me. I know it's because I put them in the bag, but I didn't want to get overweight. Uh, here, if you want me to do this, here. Put it in my main inventory. We'll get overweight, but it'll go burnt. It'll go burnt. It'll go burnt. I said it'll go burnt. Okay, it's going burnt. Okay, but now we're overweight by a lot, and that's not something I want to do. Main inventory, skill book, 
skill book, click drag. It's putting them in slightly faster, but I don't know if it's worth the weight penalty. My <laughs> book is just making sure the books are strapped down. He's like every dad ever with their truck. Oh, I got some ratchet straps for that. Uh, I don't even know if I need these, but we're grabbing them. Never want to have to come here again. Not grabbing those. I'm going to do a zombie check. Zombie check, looking good. Carpentry for beginners. I know for a fact we don't need that. Fishing for intermediates. We don't need beginner anything anymore. We need, like, manuals. Master foraging, maybe. Okay. Keep our backs to the wall. Or back, yeah, backs to the wall. No beginner books. Come on, 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 come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get it in there. Just get it in there. Just, just get it in there. Just get it in there. <laughs> Who else is panicking right now? Just get it. Just get it in there. Oh, oh. They're 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 uh they're coming back here. They're migrating. They're coming back. Skill book to skill book. Okay. That lady's beating a wall over there, so she'll be a problem soon. Come on. I almost have 70 pounds of books in the back of my truck. <laughs> Knowledge. I wonder where I'm going to put all this shit. Okay, my truck is officially no longer able to hold weight. Advanced trapping. Master first aid. I said master first aid. Tailoring for intermediates. Pretty sure I have it. Master mechanics. Expert foraging. Cooking for intermediates. Pretty sure I already have that. First aid for intermediates. Fishing for intermediates. Okay. There's advanced carpentry. We already have that. Expert carpentry, just in case we don't. We already have the herbalists. Beginners. Carpentry for beginners. Just looking around. Master trapping. Any traps in chat? Volksgas? Advanced cooking. Uh, beginners, beginners, beginners. Advanced metalwork. I already have advanced carpentry. Good. There was an expert carpentry. I don't know if I have that. I think I do. Pretty sure I have all of these. The metalwork magazine, the farm magazine, the hunter magazine. Yoink. Any magazines, engineer magazines, herbalist we have, the hunter magazine volume 3, I might have that already actually. Okay, I think we cleared this out pretty good. I think we cleared that out pretty good. Let's hop in the truck, let's put anything extra in the seat beside us. Do, 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 do. Put that in my seat. You bitch! Do you hate fun? You look like you hate fun! <laughs> you look like you hate fun. You look like the kind of lady who probably just says no burst of fun. Here. Here. How about a tire? On your, on your head. Oh. That was fun. What about you? Sideswipe? <laughs> Here. How about a tire on your face? Oh. Oh, 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 what a shame. Oh, oh, man. That's really unfortunate that your head just popped like a fucking tomato. <laughs> Maybe don't interrupt me when I'm messing with my books. God damn it. <laughs> Knowledge is serious business. <laughs> Knowledge is power, chat. G.I. Jose. In the backpack. In the backpack. Come on, 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 come on. Hurry up. Okay. We could use the excess books in the stove, yes. You can burn books. Don't burn anything you don't need or anything you might need, obviously. 
If you're playing single player, it doesn't matter if you burn it. If you're playing multiplayer, you might not want to burn a book that a friend can read kind of thing. I think we're good. I think we got pretty much anything of value here. I think we can call that a successful library raid. I probably have a thousand duplicates, but there's got to be some new stuff in there. I know the carpentry is new, and I know we needed it. That was a successful trip. My entire truck bed is full of books right now. Like 70 plus Kentucky units of books. That's a lot of Kentucky units. Praise Kentucky units. Ooh, it's, it's that building I don't like because there's that back entrance and there's that front front entrance and it's an incredibly busy place and you're sitting there staring at a bookshelf and there's so many line of sight blockers. It's just being there makes me paranoid. I hate being in that bookstore. I remember the first time we did it when I was playing on waffles. I'm pretty. Oh my god! Anyway, I'm here. Everybody go there. I'm pretty sure uh, a bunch of zombies kept coming from the back door because they broke it. What the fuck? Okay, bye. Is this like the Santa parade or what's what's going on here? Do I need gas? Nah. I, uh, the gas station to the far south is the one that we have a generator on. And we just filled this truck up at the gas station and like five gas cans. Plus there's some at home still. So, we're totally good on gas for, whoops, a while. Oh no, Karen, she wants flat. Zombie Slayer 2000 with 19 months of prime sub. That's a name change right there. I'm not sure who Zombie Slayer is, but fitting name, my dude. Thank you very much for the 19 months of subbing. Some love and chat for Zombie Slayer. A man after my own heart. <laughs> oh god, we're in, the, we're in bushes. We're in bushes and this is what happens. Okay, I'm not gonna go into the base yet. Not with this many zombies. We're gonna, we're gonna get them away. We're gonna bring them over here. Thank you very much, Zombie Slayer. Appreciate you, my dude. Give him some love. How's it going? 